no to my new booskies welcome to my faithful booskies welcome back to another video hey hold up you know jesus loves you do you know jesus loves you okay that's what i wanted to hear <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be about um, my natural look, my everyday um, looks to go to work um, during this quarantine. Um, something quick and easy, something simple. I didn't even put no eyeliner. So is that simple, people of God? People of God is that simple. So if you wanna see how I create my everyday natural look, keep watching but remember to like comment share and subscribe god bless you and keep watching hey guys welcome back to my video okay guys so um for the eyebrows if you want to see the eyebrows it's going to be down in the description box below um i did that one a week or two weeks ago so now i'm going to show you guys how i finished up my face after the eyebrows so what i did was i'm taking my huda beauty um, setting powder and I'm just setting the concealer and um, yeah that's what I'm doing and then um, after I'm done setting the concealer I am going to take I believe uh, a nude not the nude but the brown in this contour palette um, and I'm just going to just add that as my you know eyeshadow Now I'm taking my um, L'Oreal um, mascara and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, you know, um, place that all over my, you know, natural lashes um, just to remove um, the excess um, eyeshadow that must have fell, that must have fell and, um, you know, I'm getting it prepped so when I apply my lashes, it will just blend right in. So the lashes I'm using is from my lash line. It's called Nessa. That is my ultimate favorite one, and that's why I called it Nessa. And I'm taking my um, lash glue by Kiss. Everything will be down in the description box below, guys. Um, and I'm just applying it to the lashes, and then um, we're going to put the lashes on. So while the lashes are um, getting a little tacky, I'm going to take my Milk of Magnesia and I'm going to apply it all over my face. The reason why I, I use Milk of Magnesia on my face is because it's, for me, it's like an oil block. Um, it blocks the oil on my skin. So when I put it, it just um, minimizes the oils on my skin and I'm very oil around my T-zone area. So I like to just make sure I apply it there and put my foundation and it'll last me like a whole day. Now what I'm doing is placing my lash on. Um, once you'll know when your lashes are ready um, to be pl placed on your, you know, lash line when it's tacky and um, it was tacky and ready for me. So I just put it in the middle and then um, position the front first and then position the back and whatever you do on the right side you also do it on the left i'm going to do the same thing this one i went to the back first and then i went to the front but either way it doesn't matter as long as you just put them on and put them close to your lash line ladies close to your lash line okay and position them and then i'm gonna press on them just so that my natural lashes could blend in with the false lashes. Keep watching.
Hey guys, so now I'm going to take my um, dip brow in the shade brown, the same one I use on my eyebrows. I'm just going to put it on my waterline, um, just to um, deepen it just a little bit, but I'm not going to go too crazy, because normally I put black, but since it's a natural look, I didn't want under the eye to be too, too dark. Um, and I'm taking now, I'm taking my Juvia's Place foundation, I believe in the shade 440. Everything will be down in the description box below. I'm going to take my Instapop brush right now, guys. You should definitely get this brush. What I'm doing is I'm taking off the clumps of the Milk of Magnesia um, off my face. Um, now I'm going to take the foundation and take a foundation brush, and I'm just placing the foundation on my face, um, my neck, my ears, everything. I'm just placing it. And then I'm just gonna take the Instapop brush and I'm gonna blend it out. But before I do that, I'm gonna set my face with, um, what you call it? Not set my face, but I'm basically putting the setting mist from Morphe all over my face just so that it can give me this flawless finish. Um, and it will also blend out the foundation well because this is a matte foundation and if you leave it on for so long, the foundation won't move. It, you would have to apply more foundation and then you'll see the discoloration. You don't want that. So, yeah. So I'm taking my Instapop brush and I'm just blending it out. Yeah, guys, if you want to see how I prep my face before foundation, let me know down in the comment um, section because um, I didn't show it in this video. Um... Yeah, I didn't show it in this video, so if you want to see that, just let me know, and I will definitely show you how I prep my face, um, especially during this heat, during the summer. Summertime is normally difficult because, you know, you're sweating and, you know, a whole bunch of stuff is going on, and the way I set my face, even if I sweat, nothing move. Everything stay in place intact, so that's what I love. And you know I love my little dances, hey. Hey, whoa, whoa. So you're going to continue to blend, continue to blend. No swiping, pattern motion, guys. No swiping, pattern motion. Now, I believe I'm going to take my, um, yeah, my LA Pro Concealer in the shade Espresso. Love this concealer. Um, it's not too light. It's a, 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 a lighter shade, at least a shade lighter. Um, I didn't want to do nothing. I don't do anything too dramatic for my everyday looks. I just want to get my makeup done and leave. I just want to be out. <laughs> So what I normally conceal is under my eyes, uh, my nose, my forehead, my chin, and the side of my lips because I have a lot of discoloration around my lips. So I want to make sure, you know, you know, everything is together and one color because it look crazy when you can see multiple colors on your face. You can see the discoloration on your face, I mean. But, um, yeah, so what I do is I do the chin first by my lips, then I do my forehead, then I do my nose, and then I go under my eyes because you want to make sure you let the concealer set a little bit before blending it out. So that's what I like to do. So if you guys want like a in-depth um, contour uh, tutorial, just let me know. Highlight and contour, I'll show you how I do that in a separate video, but I'm just showing you how I do my everyday routine. So. Hope you guys like it. Hope this is helpful and useful to you all, okay? So now after blending out, after blending out everything, I'm just going to take my Instapop, um, the same brush that I use um, for my foundation just to set everything, just to make sure everything is well blended, especially you have like that access foundation so it'll blend everything out and then i'm gonna take my huda beauty um setting powder one of my favorite setting powders um i believe in the shade cinnamon and i'm just going to set everywhere that i put um concealer every place that i put concealer so under the eyes the bridge of the nose forehead chin by my lips you want to set everything
and then you're gonna take it to outline your um, contour so it when you outline the contour um, it actually brings out like the natural contour and then you just basically take your um, contour powder or cream whatever you want to do but I didn't do cream this time I'm gonna do the powder um, taking a clean brush and I'm gonna go with the true um, radiance um, contour palette love this palette you can find it on Amazon and I'm just going to you know basically set the foundation as well as contouring at the same time so I went in with the light color first and then after that I I went in with the dark color just to you know get that pop and you can see that um, you know contour shade yep and when you contour guys it's to make your face look a bit slimmer and guys this has been helping me out so much because you know I got a chunky chunky face I love my chunky face though um, but yeah so I'm gonna do under my chin just to make sure like you know the face is all slimmed down and yeah, girl girl contour help a lot So I'm taking my um, eyeshadow palette and I'm using that pink color in the middle um, to as my blush. I'm using it as my blush. And yeah, you can use eyeshadow as your blush. Yes, you can. Nobody, nobody said you can't. And then now I'm going to take that same Instapop brush that has the foundation, well, the access foundation. Um, I'm just going to tap everything in you want to tap everything in no swiping tap everything in um, while you also remove um, the setting powder that's all I do girl it's easy practice make perfect baby girl so now I'm gonna contour my nose I'm just gonna take that dark color and contour my nose just to get the, my desired shape Now I'm taking my mascara and I am basically, um, you know, tapping it on there just to bring out my natural lashes, just to give it that thickness and that value. Now I'm taking my um, contour palette again. This time I'm taking, I'm using the blush in that um, palette. It's beautiful. Not too much going on. A nice, you know, um, pop. It's a nice pop. Yeah, guys. And I'm just going to highlight my forehead, my nose. All right, forehead. All right, all right. <laughs> my nose I like to use my fingers for my nose so now I'm just setting my face with my mineral my, sorry my mineralizer skin finish in the shade deepest deepest darkest and I'm taking my beauty blender. I have a little um, setting powder on there just to um, allow my nose to look a little bit slimmer. The closer you go in, the, the slimmer your nose look um, with the, um, you know, um, setting powder. And I just took my brush again and to just set everything. And now I'm taking my brush 
and I'm basically um, applying that same um, highlight shade um, to my tear ducts. I think I'm finished. I'm taking that same dip brow and I'm using it as a lip liner. Dark brown. I also noticed that I needed to apply glue um, on my lashes again, like the front part. So I did that at the end of the video. Now I'm taking my um, Morphe setting spray, setting mist, um, and I'm spraying all over my face, my neck, just to lock everything in. I like to do that before I apply my lip color. Now I'm going to take my um, Anastasia Beverly Hill um, palette and I'm using this um, nude pink. And then I'm going to top that with a little bit of lip gloss and girl we are done So I'm going to take that Instapop brush um, and press everything in, tap everything in, make sure everything is blended, uh, that mist, I'm locking it in with the brush and that's all I'm doing guys. Thank you so much. Um, I hope this was helpful and useful to you guys. This is how Nessa get her natural beat. Love you guys. See you guys in the next video. Bye.